rise of kingdoms just revealed a brand new legendary infantry commander coming soon with the next update so today we're gonna go over all of his skills his talents and i'm gonna give you guys my first impressions i literally just posted a video and i go on youtube and i see that they reveal this okay this is the emperor Wu of han it's Lu Che. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Probably not. I do apologize, but he is an infantry versatility and attack commander. And this is going to be the commander that you get for free in the next update from the sign in spoils. Now I already talked about everything coming to this new update in rise of kingdoms, but a lot of players were wondering what is the free legendary commander that we're going to get. I assumed it would be Mulan or maybe even a gold key commander, but it looks like they're literally giving us a free legendary for signing in during the five year anniversary of rise of kingdoms, which I think is an amazing way to celebrate. I'm really happy that they're doing this, but the question is, if you miss the sign in event, how do you get him later? Will he go on the wheel of fortune? Will he be a mightiest governor commander? How are we going to get access to him? after this event and also are you going to be able to use universals on him or is he going to replace ethelflaed i have no idea okay but let's go over everything that we know about him so far and that is again infantry versatility attack so this is basically like alexander the great's same talent trees i think also shook had the same talent trees as well typically those commanders are better as secondary commanders so we'll just have to wait and see what his skills look like but his active skill says deals smite damage to up to five targets targets in an arc with a damage factor of 2250 every additional target reduces the damage dealt to each target by 15 percent obviously troops hit by this skill have their march speed reduced by 40 percent for three seconds so first of all I hope that they explain what smite damage is okay second of all uh that's a lot of damage okay um it's possible that perhaps this is not calculated as skill damage is that is that possible because i've never heard of smite damage before hopefully we go over it here in a moment but 2250 skill damage an arc does that mean it's a half circle i i'm not sure but this looks like a massive aoe on an infantry commander which we have been praying for for so long thank you so much lilith gods let's go also the 40 percent march speed reduction is huge this is aoe aoe march speed reduction this is basically like what we have on honda tadakatsu but this is going to be on an infantry commander so let's keep it going and see what else we have on his kits this says infantry units gain 20 percent defense if this commander's troop contains only infantry units it gains 20 percent march speed and takes 20 percent less skill damage already this is insanely good okay we desperately needed the march speed for infantry skill damage taken reduction is so good okay and the defense is a nice little bonus let's move on to the third skill and it says infantry units gain a 20 percent attack when fighting other troops when their troop launches a normal attack it has a 25 percent chance to deal additional smite damage to the target with a damage factor of 300. now this is a five second cooldown but a 25 percent chance of happening that's one in every four turns right that's actually crazy um now with the cooldown this is probably only going to happen like uh you know twice a skill cycle or something like that but even still really nice bonus instant proc damage here and again I really want to know what this smite damage factor is all about moving on to the fourth skill it says this commander's troop deals 10 percent more normal attack damage while on the map so okay we have an absolute uh, open field god right here okay whenever their troop deals smite damage it reduces the damage dealt by the target troop by 10 percent for three seconds okay so we have two ways of dealing smite damage so far aoe on the active skill okay so that means that his active skill is aoe reducing the damage that they're dealing okay so he deals it's a five target by the way five target aoe which is amazing a lot of commanders in the game have only three target aoe's so he can hit five targets and reduce their damage by 10 percent for three seconds he also has the instant proc smite damage on his third skill that we just talked about and whenever that pops they're also going to be dealing 10 percent reduced damage really really good stuff here and then we'll see here on the expertise whenever this commander's troop launches a normal attack while on the map it has a 25 percent chance to launch an extra normal attack okay that is no cooldown that is probably busted okay that is it, this doesn't sound like that much okay but that means one in four attacks is going to deal double damage okay also your normal attacks are what generate your rage so one in every four turns you're going to generate double rage that's actually really really good this is an insanely good open field commander now 
again the attack tree is historically not great and he's not super tanky he's not super prickly like charles martel or like pakal uh or like you know uh, attila takeda for example so i really don't think we're gonna see him as a primary commander but the other thing to keep in mind is that you know when we look at uh commanders like um guan yu for example he really wants to be a primary commander because of the detriment on his active skill that is not here okay there is no downside to using him as a secondary commander which is insane okay he's dealing massive amounts of aoe damage and he could be your secondary it doesn't matter which means him and guan yu can work really really well together okay or him with cpo prime obviously going to be an insane combination him with sargon could be really really good as well and here we see the active skill it's just a sword swipe and then oh my god you see the dragon shoot out of him bro the dragon oh my god let's see it again let's see it again he swipes him and then boom launches a dragon nuke across the screen absolutely insane what up goose now as you can see here you get him after seven days of logging in and you also can get mulan if you want uh but guys you don't want to get mulan just don't get mulan this is absolutely a commander that is going to be a must have if you are an infantry player uh and possibly even as your one infantry march it could be the case uh and i think it's actually probably pretty likely that you would want to do um cpo prime primary with luce secondary okay that's another possibility um you might want to flip those around we'll have to do testing when he comes into the game but he might just replace guan for your single infantry army uh and of course if you're running two or more infantry armies this is still amazing this is amazing for infantry players and this is probably uh I mean it could be a bonus right like we sh we are expecting the next cycle to be infantry anyway so does that mean that we're gonna get basically three new infantry commanders this cycle uh or is he gonna be in the seven day sign in event and then be put on the wheel of fortune or as a mightiest governor I I'm not sure um typically versatility commanders are wheel of fortune commanders so it would be most likely in my mind that you get them from fr for free from here and then he goes on the wheel but it could also be the case that we just get three new commanders for infantry at this point and that would be amazing I would love to see that now this is what Asya said about his active skill and I really don't know what she means by this uh so let's listen really closely Tiff skill deals smite damage up to a thousand target troops in an arc with a max damage factor of 2250. she said a thousand target troops uh th this is five target troops I think she meant a thousand rage requirement okay uh so I'm really not sure what what that means it's a little bit confusing it might be a misspeak okay but um again we just don't know what smite damage is um is this a I mean this looks like a brand new way to deal damage okay uh which you know that that could be a good thing right because you know anytime that you get debuffed you know uh to deal less skill damage or something like that that's one thing uh but it could also be the case that this isn't great because any commander that gives you a bonus to skill damage or for example if you're running twilight falls the the city skin um possibly you know if this is not skill damage right if the game is not calculating this as skill damage uh this could be an entirely separate thing which will have its pros and also its cons meaning if you pair him with Lee song yay for whatever reason you if you would ever do that um Yi song yay has a 50 percent skill damage bonus perhaps that does nothing for this active skill because it's not skill damage okay it literally says smite damage factor so that I don't know I could be completely wrong about that okay so please don't take my word for it obviously we have to wait and see until he comes into the game uh this could be skill damage just dealt in another way it's possible that maybe smite damage is just skill damage dealt with ignoring buffs and debuffs or something I, I don't know okay there's a lot of possibilities as to what smite damage could be but there's one thing for sure he looks really powerful and this is exciting because he's free it's new it's really really cool okay so I'm super happy to hear about this um his design is amazing his active skill shot looks really good and and if we take a look here um it is not a half circle but it is a very wide cone okay this is a, a lot of times cone shapes are kind of just like right out front this looks a little bit bigger than your standard cone um so it's it's a little bit it looks like it's in between the half circle and regular cone uh so I think that's good this is a very solid AOE size uh and I would just I really just want to know what the smite damage is now like I I have to know okay now, the other thing is look at look at this Minamoto they it looks like they changed the design of the of the you know the commander plate here uh not really sure what that's all about if that's related perhaps he is you know he's at yellow already so possibly he's taking smite damage I don't know it's probably more than likely that they just 
change the the, the the design but as far as i know that's everything we know about lu che coming to rise of kingdoms okay after this event we don't know how we're going to be able to get him after this um i don't think they're going to put him in the gold keys so i think either he comes to the wheel of fortune after this or he's going to be uh, maybe replacing ethel fled i think that's a really big that's a big ask okay i really don't know if that's going to be possible i i doubt it i really i mean that would blow my mind i would love that but i really don't think that'll be the case but yeah this is everything that we know um when i get more information i will of course update you guys and of course when we learn more about uh whatever the next legendary commander might be uh which you know they don't really reveal in this video but they do show cute little kitties which is amazing and i'm a huge cat fan um and it was also cool to see like you know obviously leo asia everyone kind of came back together for this video I thought that was really cool if you guys didn't know Leo and Asya have mostly been focusing on Call of Dragons recently uh so for the five year anniversary to see people come back together that is uh really really cool they also show off the banish king skill it costs 3000 gems uh I'll try to link this video in the description below um so that way if you guys want to see everything that that they talk about in this video you can go ahead and check it out they also talk about the block list and a couple of other things also it looks like here we have the zenith of power skin this is the battles bloom 15 percent calf health oh my god bro oh my god that's so good bro people are gonna go hard for this that's insane i love to see it anyway guys if you made it to the end of this video i hope you'll drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm i also posted another video today but i had to post this video because i just have to whenever a new commander comes out so if you missed my other video that i posted today please go ahead and check it out it's 17 mistakes that people make in kvk and it's very long it's very important and a lot of people are making these mistakes so please check that video out in the description below also I'll you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified that next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video so that way you don't miss the breaking news the moment that we hear about it and also comment down below your thoughts on this brand new free legendary infantry commander i'm super stoked about it i would love to hear your thoughts this sounds like what we've been asking for for infantry i can't wait till he comes into the game and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace